Harpreet? Sure, thank you so much, Dr. Uh, so now we are we have seen four wonderful use cases, and uh, we are left with the four more. And uh, yes, myself, see Harpreet Singh, one of the faculties of AI Batch, and I would like to thank Umesh sir, Daya sir, Vishnu ji, Secretary Rishi ji, and all other uh, people who are actually running the show and running the wonderful AI journey for ICA, right? And of course, uh, so we we judge on the third day in a three day course, as we all know. But yes, this is a bit different. I would, and of course, I would like to reiterate what Sarah said. So you would like to see the solution to bigger problems, interesting use of technology, innovative and unique cases, and how much deep you can use AI, right? So I I don't know about the third part participant whether that participant is available for presentation, but uh, I will go for the next participant, CA Shekhar Hanuman Sane. Uh, sorry, it is done. CA Prakash Hakkarji, who is going to present on AI Power Digital Membership yes. ID Card for CP. Yeah. One second, I am sharing my screen. I am audible, sir. Yes, sir. You are audible and visible. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, everyone for the opportunity given to me. I am a CA Prakash Tekkar, the currently the convener of Kalyan CACP Study Circle. And today I am uh, pleased to announce uh, my innovative project, AI Power Digital CP Membership ID Card System. So basically what this tool is working is, is this, this is the automation system uh, which handle our practical issues we are facing since last many year. So basically what is happening is uh, we never issue any ID card to our CP members. And this will create a multiple challenges like membership, uh, members claiming their membership without actually registering formally. And some members uh, paid their uh, seminar, uh, means membership fee, but have not filed their Google form. So we are not aware whether they are took the membership or not. Or some person, some members took the concessional uh, rate and without taking any actual membership. So this will cause an error and dispute and uh, inefficiency. So clearly we needed a reliable automated solution. So just I uh, developed it. I'm just uh, taking live demo only. So basically these are the tools we use. All are from Google only. Google Forms for data collection, Google Sheet for data storage, and Google Slide for ID card templates. And obviously the app script to run our code. So what we earlier do is uh, we just given a Google form from annual membership and this is the format. Now I just uh, do it once again here. This is the email ID where you get your uh, ID card. Say I write ABC. If your uh, membership number is taken twice, uh, the ID card will not be generated. This required transaction ID. Now submit. Once you submit the same, it will be automatically uh, give your ID card on the email given on the Google form. It's taking many caption. Now this is the generated. This is my uh, response sheet. Here it's automatically captured. Then there is a one uh, button I given there. Once you click this generate ID card, the ID card is automatically generated. It look like this. Automatically mail also given. Thank you for registering from Kalyan CP. Find your digital card and 
uh, while doing this thing, we also included like uh, unique ID should be given. And once I generate ID card, then I rerun the uh, code, then it should not generate uh, once again a, a ID already given to others. So in backend, how this work? So this is the template which I created in Google slide. And I used the uh, chat GPT to give me a, a real code. This is the chat GPT code. I want to build an automaton system using Google app script. I want uh, data uh, is submitted via Google form. Then second step is generate a unique ID in this format. Only generate a unique ID if name is filled and membership number is unique. Then this automatically copy a Google slide template and replace the placeholder with actual name. Also the photo will be taken from Google uh, data sheet and it will generate the same. This is the Google script. And in further, I also made a, one tool like, one second. In uh, our, our upcoming seminar, there are the members who fill their Google form, but actually have not taken the membership. So I just develop on that basis only that email should be given to that candidate who have not file, not take the membership, but still uh, written in the Google form that I have taken the membership. So basically, once again, the membership field form, uniqueness check, auto generation of CP ID, duplicate membership. If there is any duplicate membership, uh, ID card will not be generated. Rerun functionality is what uh, once I click on the generate ID, say up to 10 responses received and, and click generate ID. So 10 email address automatically shared. But once 11, 10, 12 generated, I once again click here, then 1 to 10 ID should not be regenerated again. So it's automatically generated. Uh, no manual intervention is required. It's real-time re uh, delivery. ID card is generated within a second only, and there, was, there is no error. Until now, we issue over 52 uh, odd cards, uh, odd, odd ID cards. So this is the... This possible, all, all this is possible because of AI course I joined. So I'm using chat GPT since long time, but because of AI ways, I just uh, got the idea and I just uh, used it uh, in live case. So thank you. So basically a chat GPT is a thing when you just uh, need to have a, your problem clear cut and just you need to think that how can I solve the problem? All other things chat GPT can help you to do them. Yeah, thank you. Thank you once again for giving me the opportunity. And I'm sure. okay for, for any questions. Yeah. Yeah, Prakashji. So yes, it is a it is a nice use case and you have automated everything. But one thing I want to clarify, so it is not 100% automated. You have to click on that generate ID card and then it will generate. Hey, you, can, you can actually do automated within a time. But okay. I just uh, use it because I yeah. need to take the payment from my bank. Because in Google form, they have already mentioned the payment transactions ID. Ah, so okay, okay. Then only I see. That's why it's, I keep it manually. Got it, got it. Yes, of course. And one more thing. Uh, so basically, if a person who has already filled the form and yeah. he has got his ID card and if he again, fill, again fills the form, then what will happen? No form, no ID card will be generated. Your email address is taken. And so, uh -huh. so if you are filing from same email ID, say this is your email ID. Okay. One second. Here. It will not allow this email ID to be used again. And uh -huh. also anyone fill the form with same membership number. No okay. ID card. But it will accept then your entry. Order, but ID card will not be generated. So you can check it manually from here. That email okay. site will not be there. Okay. Maybe you can tweak the script a little bit. And if a person refills the form, then the old ID card is sent to that person. Maybe something like that. It can be that can be done. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you so much, Prakashji.